Hey, hey everyone, it's assignment four. Okay, here are some things that can help you uh, get through your answers here. All right, say your boss asked you to do research inflation in the United States. Now, this question might look very timely, uh, but I have been asking this question for a number of years. Inflation, uh, a, sort of a new new problem in the United States, but it is something that economists have thought about for, well, ever since we've been tracking the macro economy. Two types of firms that would want inflation numbers using the CPI calculation. So basically, look over the CPI. What is it? What types of firms would care about that? Okay, so basically, it's the firms specifically um, in, in those categories. Next, two types of firms that care about the producer price index called the PPI. Um, so who cares about all that stuff? And make sure you explain it. Just give me a short explanation. Why do you pick those? Um, why do we use the GDP deflator rather than the CPI? So the book talks about the limitations of the CPI. I also mention it somewhere in the videos. You could also, if you don't want to hear me talk or read, you could just think about what is in this number versus what's not in this number. So be specific there. All right, here we got the 10-year break-even inflation rate. Now, there, there's different ways of measuring inflation based on time. So the one you hear in the news right now is the yearly, the one-year inflation rate. This is the 10-year break-even inflation rate. And then to further confuse you, we usually calculate inflation on a month-by-month -month basis. So that's um, a lot of different ways you could you could be looking at this stuff, depending on who's talking, and you know it all kind of comes back to answers on number one and two. Well, uh, provide an explanation for why the rate. Uh, so starting around September, so right about here, okay. Why was there inflation sustained increase in the price level? using a cost push analysis. So think about what cost push analysis or cost push inflation is. Why would that have happened? Okay, and it continues to today because that's uh, May of 2022. Then what about demand pull? So the uh, if you think about what's going on with inflation right now, there's not one single cause. There's both cost push and demand pull. So just for your own understanding in 2022, that's, uh, that's kind of helpful. Um, okay, so why are your answers to four and five reasons for policy members to policy makers? What we mean is um, economic policy people at the Federal Reserve or Congress or banks, people that movers and shakers, people that could make a difference, right? The president, the governors, all that stuff. Um, why should they be worried? And then um, why should they be not as as worried? Right. So there is an explanation that, that this isn't the end of the world, okay? Um, okay, next, I uh, want to calculate nominal GDP. So there is a video that is exactly, oops, I went the wrong way, uh, in topic four, videos. Uh, let's see, calculating inflation with CPI right there, using Excel to calculate the inflation rate, and Calculating real and nominal inflation right there, so that one is, that one could be helpful. But I'll also tell you that the nominal GDP is just going to be the current quantity times the current price, and then add all that up. Okay, so that's how you get the nominal. And then the nominal growth rate, you're just going to use the formula. It's new minus old over old, so it's just the percent change from 2008 to 2000, or sorry, 2018 to 2019. Calculate the inflation rate using the GDP deflator. Okay, so your textbook has a lot of examples on how to do that. Um, and then quantity, um, uh, and then I, we were gonna increase the quantity for four units of each product um, from their quantities listed in the table. Okay, so, um, so we're gonna increase each one by four and then recalculate it. Okay, so that's how we do that. All right, calculate the inflation rate uh, using CPI. So now we're going to have a base year, which will be the base year set of prices, but then we're going to increase the um, quantities by four into that into that one. So that's we're going to use CPI uh, method there. So CPI again uses a fixed price level, but then changes the quantities um, and then calculates the inflation. Rate. Which inflation rate would be preferred uh, by the part of the economy that dislikes inflationary effects? So 
the, the inflation rates are different using the GDP deflator versus CPI, which just as it is today. They're not radically different, they're similar, but uh, CPI is always going to get a higher inflation number than, than GDP deflator. Next, uh, so I had to use an old number from 2021 uh, because currently the US dollar is appreciating against every currency around the world. So it seems that as screwy as we might be, we're less screwy than the rest of the world. Hey, good for us. Uh, but uh, so I couldn't use an I couldn't use a chart like this from uh, modern times. So I normally do because there's usually uh, a mixture of different currency action appreciating versus depreciating. But in this case, I couldn't do that. So uh, I get an old one. Sorry about that. Uh, which currency did the dollar appreciate? So these answers are the inverse of each other. Um, why is it not an economic sign of economic weakness? So think about that particular currency and that current uh, economy. Why is that economy not weak? Um, which type of firms? So we're really looking for which type of firms like importers and which type of firms like exporters. I believe there is. Yeah, if you watch this video. Uh, and make sure you read that chapter. It, uh, it can be explained there. This is a little more in detail. Uh, somebody asked me a question about that. This is an older video there. Uh, and then the U.S. is a net importing nation. Most of you got that right on the last one. That was good. Uh, explain how this creates job opportunities for American workers. So there you go. Slightly shorter. Uh, start thinking about that paper. And let me know if you have any questions.